Hi, Clayton here with Dev Collaborative. In this video, we're going to fine tune the content editor permissions a bit. Uh, so one thing that you'll notice that with the content editor out of the box is they don't see any unpublished content that they themselves have not authored. So if I hop back to here, I have this unpublished article that I've created as an admin. I want my content editors to see that as well. And the reason that they can't see that is because in Drupal core, there is only one permission associated with unpublished content. And that is the permission to view your own unpublished content. Um, so in order to grant editors the ability to view any unpublished content on a site, we are going to use a contributed module appropriately called view unpublished. So come over here, view unpublished, enable it, go to the permissions page for it. Uh, and I need to rebuild the permission. So I'll click this rebuild permissions link and then go back to that permissions page. And for the editor, um, I want them to view any unpublished content. Uh, this also provides a permission for every content type you have. So if you want to be more granular, you can do that, which is nice. So save these permissions, hop back over to my editor view, and here we go. I can see the unpublished article now, which is only the title. There's no body or anything. Uh, the next thing is that Oftentimes, you want your editors to be able to publish unpublished content. Uh, so to do that, we use another um, module called Publish Content. Uh, one thing to note is that the documentation here is outdated, and there is an issue raised for the maintainer to update that. So I hope that they do that soon because it is a little bit confusing. So I will show you how to set that up properly. So publish content, enable it, and go to the related permissions. And in this case, I want to publish content of any kind. And I also want to unpublish any content. Okay. So if I hop back here and refresh my page, I now see a published tab. So this article has now been published. Um, the last thing is that you may want to allow your editors to edit content. And in that case, you're going to come here and check things like edit any content on article, edit any content on page, etc. cetera. Uh, so let's do that actually. edit any content. There we go. And come down and save this. And now if I come back here, I have this edit link and same over here, edit here. So there you go. Some helpful ways to tweak the permissions for your content editors without giving them access to everything related to content. 